What's up guys? Welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil and you know what time it is. We're about to dig into a new song section. I'm going to break it down for you in detail. And this one was voted on by our Facebook community. They said, Phil, teach me how to play This Love by Maroon 5. And I said, okay, let's do it. This is going to be the intro riff from the advanced level arrangement, which means this is probably exactly what their pianist was playing on the recording. We're going to get into it. That section sounds a little something like this. One, two, set, go. Hey, there's 100%. Boy, I sure do love getting 100% pop-up scores when I play something. And you know what? I'm getting that pop-up score in the Playground Sessions interactive app. I'm going to talk more about that later in this video, but for now, I think we should just dig right in. We're going to start breaking down the right hand first. Here we go. The key signature here for this arrangement is three flats. B flat, E flat, A flat. And that tells us we're in the key of E flat major or C minor. Those are the two related keys that share this three flat key signature. Our time signature is 4-4, four, four, four beats per measure. Now, the right hand here, as we can see, is all chords, which is funny because usually we might see chords in the left hand and melodic content in the right hand. But for this intro riff, at least, at the advanced level, it's switched. We have chords in the right, and we're going to see some melodic content in the left. We'll cover the left in a minute, but for now, let's look at these right hand chords. Our first chord looks like this. This is technically called a G over B, a G major chord with a B natural, we see that there, and first inversion. And as you can see, every single thing we're playing in this section for the right hand has a rhythmic value of an eighth note. So, one and two and three and four and, okay? Next chord, C minor, root position. One and two and three and four and. Measure three, we go to an F minor in first inversion, And from here, we're going to go to kind of a weird one. It looks weird on the notation, and it looks weird on the keyboard, but us advanced players, we know that this is a diminished chord. And we're going to call this a B diminished chord, even though we have an A flat on the bottom. And that's because the left hand, as we'll see soon, is playing this uh, B natural. So here we're calling this a B diminished chord. A flat, B, and D. One, and two, and three, and four, and. And the good news is we're halfway done, but the second half is exactly the same. So the next four measures go like this. All right, I think we should pull up our backing track and go ahead and try this at the full tempo. This is the advanced arrangement after all, so I'm assuming you guys have a lot of this stuff already underneath your fingers, right? So we're going to try this at the full speed. Here we go. One, two, set, go. All right, there's 100%. We've got our right hand covered. But the left hand is actually a little more tricky. I'll show you why when we dig into this left hand part right now. Now, as I mentioned, the left hand is going to be covering the melodic content while the right hand does the harmonic content. We just covered the right hand chords, the harmony. So now let's talk about this left hand melody. We're playing this whole section in octaves which means really it still is a single note melody, but we're adding an octave double so that it fattens it up. Instead of just playing this, we're gonna play. Feel how much bigger and fatter that is? So let's go over it. Our first note is B. We're gonna be way down here in octaves. Rest, rest, B, D, C. Three and four, E and a one. Okay, so here we're on C, then we jump up to G, G flat, F, rest, rest, 
F, E flat, D, rest, rest, A flat, B flat, B. Okay, now just like the right hand, the second half of this section is the same as the first. So once we get the first four measures down, we're smooth sailing for the second half. Let's go over that first half one more time, and then we're going to go right into the second half and just play it down. Here we go. One and two, three and four and C, two and three and four E and a one, two and three and four E and a one, two and three and four E and a one. And that's it. Rhythmically speaking, notice that I'm subdividing by mostly eighth notes when I say one and two and three. But then here in the second half of each of these measures, we actually see a sixteenth note and a dotted eighth note, which means we're going to have to subdivide by sixteenth notes. So we could choose to subdivide this whole section by sixteenth notes, but if we're going to say it out loud, it might be a mouthful, right? One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one, right? <clears throat> so instead, what I want to do is really subdivide by eighth notes, and when we get to that beat four of these measures, then I'll subdivide by sixteenths, and that sounds like this: one and two and three and four E and a one. Okay, so that's just a trick I use to help me decipher when to subdivide by sixteenth notes and when to not have to subdivide by sixteenth notes so that I can balance my subdivision counting with my accurate rhythmic playing. Let's try to play this, shall we? I'm going to cue up our backing track first at the slow speed just because of the syncopations we see here and then I'll try it at the full speed. Here we go. One, two, set, go. One and two and three and four e and a one and three and four E and a one, two, three and four E and a one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three and four E. There we have it at the slow speed. Pause, rewind, and play back with me at that speed if you need extra practice. But when you're ready, let's now try it at full tempo. One, two, set, go. All right, there's 100% for the left hand as well. Now, of course, we've just got one step left, and that's to put the hands together for this. But where do we go from there? Great question. If you want to learn the rest of this song, you got to go to the Playground Sessions interactive app, and the great news is we're running a free trial right now, 30-day free trial. That means you can play for 30 days as a full member of the interactive app for free with no strings attached. You're going to sign up for an account, but with no payment necessary, and you've got 30 days to try it. If you don't love it, on your final day you can cancel, and if you don't want to be a paid member, that's fine. You'll have paid zero dollars for 29 days in the app. And what I think is great about this trial is you're learning song sections with us here on YouTube, but you could learn the whole rest of the song with interactive notation in the app. As a signing bonus, if you sign up for this free trial, you'll get three free song credits just for signing up. You can go to the song store within the app and download any song you want. You can download This Love and finish it with interactive notation and download two more. There's plenty of stuff to do in the app and I know you guys are going to love it, so click the link in this video's description or tap that card above. Open it in a new tab as a matter of fact because we have one more thing to do here in this video and then when we're done here on YouTube, you'll be ready to go to start your free trial and finish it there in the app. All right, here we go. Let's do this hands together. We're going to go first at the slow speed, and then once we get 100% there, we're going to go to full speed, and then we'll be done. All right, let's do it. You guys ready? 
One, two, set, go. All right, guys, there we have it at the slow speed. And as always, please take advantage of these video lessons by pausing, rewinding, and playing back with me at that section as many times as you need to feel comfortable. When you do feel comfortable and you're confident we can try it at full speed, well, let's do that now. That's our final step for This Love by Maroon 5, the advanced level intro. Let's go ahead and do it. One, two, set, go. Yes, there's another 100%. What a great way to round out this video. We've got 100 on the right, 100 on the left, 100 hands together. We're now ready to move on to the verse, and then the chorus, and then the bridge, and then the whole song. All of that can be found in the Playground app. So please do yourself a favor, sign up for that free trial, finish this song in the app, and learn much, much more. I'll see you guys on the next video lesson. I'm Phil, thanks for watching Playground. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. Alright guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.